strength and my strong tower. I bless the Dr. Lee. Bless you. you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, the second Sunday is considered our youth, and even though our youth are grown, we still honor this day. And thank you, Jeskaya. She's here. Yeah, yeah. um, See, you got more inside of it than you thought. Know. <laughs>
Tuesday to our very own. Brother Cecil. <laughs>
stuff about your children, you ought to bring them to church. Amen. Amen. Bring them to church so they can learn about the Lord. Amen. Amen. She already learned. She knows something. She's going somewhere. She's going somewhere. Amen. That's right. Amen. The day's sermon is coming out of Matthew, the 13th chapter, verses 41 through 43. Yes, sir. Gospel according to St. Matthew. You might see some red writing in your Bible. That don't mean they ran out of ink. That means Jesus is doing some talking. 13 chapter, verses 41 through 43. The master teacher is speaking today. Same one that young lady just got through saying, Jesus paid it all. Oh, all right, master. Of God. 
So Jesus is looking at that, and we find some bad, good things, and bad things happen to good people. Amen. There was no malice in the young man's heart that did the seed that was doing the, the, the sowing, but his enemy came and decided to do some bad things to him. Oh, yeah, always backstab. It's always a backstab. Uh, always going to be somebody we find right here that's going to come into play. But verse 26 says, but there's another but in the Bible. Yeah. What did he say? What did you also say? Verse 26. You got a button in your Bible. That's what verse 26 says. He does something? He said, but when the blaze sprung up and brought forth what? Fruit. Then appeared the tares also. We find it wasn't immediately. We didn't see it immediately, Sister Tisa. It took time. It took a process. No matter what you're going through in life, it takes a process. It takes time for things to develop, mature. And back in those days, he was using this as patient that it takes time for a seed to go on the ground and mature in the diet and it spring up and it start growing before it becomes mature and able and ready for harvest sign. But he says right now, it's interesting. He says that it sprung up and brought fruit. Then appeared the tag. Then it stood out. Then you understood what it was. It was something that was different. Well, let's see what verse 27 had to say. Ain't that something? So the bottom line is the workers saw something. That's why it's important to pay attention to details, man. One thing about it. Everybody that looks like they say I'm born again, it sounds good, but only time gonna tell. That's right. That's right. One thing about the fullness of time, this is not a death, this is a marathon. In the life you live, whether or not you have changed in your mind's eyes and you walk in Christ's life, the bottom line is he's showing us we're all walking together on this earth. But I want you to understand, God got it all seen out. Now this parable of the wheat and the tares, there's two questions we're looking at here. How can good and evil coexist? In this age. Amen. So we're looking right now, the workers came and said, Now, how in the world? We know we planted good seeds, but how in the world can this tear grow in the times like these? How is it possible? Find right here, and he says, Sir, is not thou so good seed in thy field? From whence then has it tears? What you got for verse 28? You see this all 
Well, well, you need to understand. The Bible declared that the wheat and the tares go together. And it ain't your job. You just pray for them. Because at the end, God is going to do the separate. Because I need you to understand. God don't need church folks trying to help cut our folks in the church out. He said, let them hell makers come in here and let the preacher beat the hell out of them so they don't have to go to hell. God got to die that gun. You carry it. You have to die. But the Bible says you have no joy in heaven over one sinner that repents. More than 99 church folks who don't need no repentance. Thank God for the sinner. We all sinners saved by grace. Say no. Where first say, let both grow up well together until the harvest. But so the one thing about it, harvest day is coming. That's right. Hallelujah. The harvest is plentiful. But the laborers are few. We find out Jesus already looking through the steeple bank of time. He's looking at this parable and he's showing us the difference between the good and the bad. And the mindset of the servant say, well, that's going to pull him up. And the owner say, no, leave him alone because you can tell us some stuff. And we find out that Jesus said, when I'm seeing one of these old days, one day. I just see me going through Calvary. I just right, see me riding in that cloud. Yes. I just see me going back to glory. Yes. I see me interceding on your behalf. Yes. But I also see the 19th chapter of Revelation. Yes. One day I'm going to ride up yes. on the White House. Yes. And one of these old tiny times yes. again yes. will be no more. Yes. And when I ride, yes. I bring the armies of heaven with me. Yes. And when time has been, will never be no more. Yes. I'm going to say, Harvest Day is coming. Yes. And I need you to see what he's saying here, brothers and sisters. Yes. He's saying now, the harvest, the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers. Jesus said, I got some folks that's qualified. I got some folks sitting around the throne of God. Leading over there, bubbling, they posted up. Give me the eyes. Okay, Lord, I'm waiting. My son of God trying to teach some of us to wait till your change comes. God, Jesus, I don't Yes, Lord. Two sayings, and we're looking at it. 
in riddles. Kind of like on Batman, you got the joke in all the riddles. He always talking in riddles. It ain't making no sense. Right. Even the people that he had chosen and walked with him, Sister Marie, did not understand the parable of the tares. Now, Jesus, Brother Casey, I need to know what is the parable of the tares. Well, give me verse 37 since you're here. Yeah. What did he say? Uh oh. He that saw a good seed is the Son of Man. Some folks say God didn't have a son. But Jesus identifies himself as the Son of Man. Well, give me verse 38.
what you say, what you say, what you say. Yeah. Read the verse 4 again. I think you might see something now. What he's saying, he ain't shooking and jiving. What he's saying gonna happen. One more time, one more time, one more time. Thank you. 
Yes, indeed. Of the stars within. That's right. I'm a Jesus in my father's house. Hey, a minute. A minute, man. Chad, would not so. And who would not so? I told you. I told you. I got a house. Hey, I go prepare. Put your name on it. I go prepare a place. Why you? Why on you? For the righteous.
we just ask the choice blessings upon him and that he do and follow leadership as he's been told what to do. And we pray that God will give him guidance and give him the sense to know what to do and what not to do and follow his boss's instruction. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Precious Master, we're standing on your word. Yes. Let Jalen know everything about him is already known. Yes. He's compassionate about his grandmother, after his mother, acts about him again. He's compassionate about with the angels. Yes. Let him know right now, gracious Master, that you have heard that request yes. according to your scripture. Yes. And also, you said word from my, the wisest man ever lived, and that was Solomon. Yes. Trust in God. Yes. Lead not to thy own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him. He shall direct your path. Holy Master, thank you for the job you got to do. Thank you right now, Master. We ask him for to be a blessing for his little life. We ask him for the trade he's going to learn to be able to make a living for himself. We thank you right now, Master, that when he walks on that property, that he's going to be a blessing. Open up his eyes, Master. He knows what the game looks like. Help him understand and stay away from the game. Because the man ain't going to control. Let him know, Master, that's not the way to go. He come there to get a job. He come there to do a job. He come there to learn a job. And you done seen him walk. You done seen his talk. You done heard his talk. You heard everything about it. And now that you should protect an angel that's going to walk with him. Let him look, Master, to learn how to be a plumber. Let him look, Master, how to be an electrician. Let him look, Master, how to be a carpenter. Let him look, Master, how to be a carpenter layer. Let him look, Master, how to be a master bear. Tell him right now, Master. Give him a train, Master. Bless his hands. Thank you, bless his hands to play the music. Bless his hands, Master, to be a craftsman, Master. Let him learn to be a craftsman. Let him be able to learn how to fix things. Let him be able to work in the house. Let him do work around the house. Let him be a blessing, Master. To be the the soul. This is the soul. Everything is going wrong. Let him learn how to work on this, Master. And come home and help his mama out. I thank you right now. Let him be a blessing, Master. I thank you right now for the work you're going to do for him. And I rebuke. In the demonic spirit, the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Get your hands off, Jalen. Get your eyes off, Jalen. Get your mouth off, Jalen. And you believe. Get to the lead. Get down right in your time. That's we thank you. You're going to be able to make a living. According to you, Master. Because all things belong to you. Such knowledge is too wonderful for us. We can't understand it. We can't comprehend it. But you're God that beyond all impossibility. There's nothing you can't accomplish. There's nothing you can't do. And we touch it in the grid. And we believe because he's your child. Giving back to you once again, Master. 